my channel and yes it's been a minute I missed last week's upload I hope you guys forgive me if you are new welcome it's a pleasure to have you do come again subscribe if you haven't well you'll see my message in a few seconds but today I have shown you my go-to favorite autumn leather coats and today I want to show you my absolute favorite leather skirts. I reach for them every single autumn, every single fall and even into the winter when it's not snowing because your girl she loves these skirts as usual in this haul i'll be giving you a breakdown of the fabrics and going forward my hauls would be very environmentally sustainable conscious because i i just want to bring that into my my life because i think that a lot of the times i have definitely failed the environment and I and you would see from some of the pieces I'll be showing you today because some of them are definitely not environmentally sustainable or friendly and for that matter I am really trying to make up for this stop buying especially polyester and I'm using what I have in my wardrobe I love these skirts and I've had them as usual forever these are pieces from my wardrobe and so I want to show you how I style them so the first piece that I have is this black gorgeous leather skirt and this is a piece that was thrifted a million years ago that should tell you how old I am <laughs> and I love it it's so high end and you can wear this high waisted as well as low waisted but if you know me it's gonna be worn high waisted i really love the fit of this skirt guys and love this pairing as well i love the details on this skirt and just like my leather coats i love details this is a suede piece it's a hundred percent suede and unfortunately it has lining so the lining is made of a hundred percent acetate and i know you 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 can't win no matter how much you try eh? you can't but we are at least aware and we are going for natural fibers i am trying to stop buying them which i've done thus far and if I have to, if I have to degrade these polyesters myself, I am going to wear them to, to death until they are like crumbs. It's not possible because they are, they are not biodegradable and that's what hurts. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try my very best, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try my very best to wear them as much as possible so that they have little impact on the environment but this piece it's definitely sustainable I have had it for years been using it for ages I just love the details on this it has a leather waistband and of course everything is leather the body of it is suede but I just love the waistband in this more shiny leather it gives it such a such a nice contrast against the suede so I love that and this is a really striking piece and I love wearing it to work as well as casually sorry guys I'm recovering from the cold so if you hear me sniffle excuse me <laughs> I also love this this oh my god it's such a cute detail these gorgeous pleats at the bottom of the skirt and it has this band that looks like an arrow of leather that is such a great striking detail that just 
elevates the skirt that just place it on another level i absolutely love this piece i love that strip of leather that goes across here it gives it such a beautiful beautiful detail this skirt is definitely a showstopper it just exudes such locks such luxury such elegance it's so chic and yet at the same time it's professional and modest but sexy gorgeous and it makes it so beautiful when you wear it i get so much compliment for this oh my god and i don't even know what brand it is and i don't even care what brand it is i just love it so today i'll be pairing it with this high neck sleeveless top this is a top i got from winners again ages ago and i love it so much i bought it in three colors because it's cold i'm also gonna be adding this cropped cardigan inside of it just to give it a long sleeve effect the fit and style of this top is definitely gorgeous on because guys it's cold and i've been sick so i don't want to get sick again <laughs> this piece has been around so long i can't even find <laughs> the label of the material but it has washed well and it has really really survived so many years of wearing so i would take an educated guess and say it's um it has elastin and it also has in cotton so because it washes really really well so love this guys really love this look it's it's such an elegant such a sophisticated look i absolutely love it so for your inspiration guys this is how i style it but as you know it's not always about fit and style because this is comprised of polyester rayon and spandex sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video my second skirt and you guys must have seen this skirt before because i did a look with it to show you how to style bodycon dresses several falls ago and i use this skirt as i said they are my go-to skirts what i love about this ah oh, it's the details again i just love the row of fastness that goes down in the middle if you know me well guys you would know i am all about 70s chic this is one of them and it has a nice split i love this piece but i would suggest wearing it on a casual friday because guys those poppers can be a little bit worrisome god forbid you sit down and yeah <laughs> it's a hundred percent suede and of course the lining is again a hundred percent acetine not my fault at all i tried I, as you can see i've been trying ages ago because these are a million years old and they look so good guys and that's one of the message i want to convey to you you don't have to get rid of your stuff that you like you can keep them and wear them and style them in different ways you would be amazed at the number of different tops that i have styled with these i love pairing this skirt with white as well as deeper red to be honest because i wasn't very environmentally conscious 
Many of the talks have come and gone. They have been destroyed through washing and wearing. So these have definitely stand the test of time and I love them. I really, really love them. And what I also love about this piece is that it, you could see that they made some effort into giving this skirt some some character, some some details because you have pieces of suede being spliced in the middle, at the back and on the side. Some pieces are of a deeper rust color. It's, it's, it's just gorgeous. And at the bottom, it creates a really gorgeous contrast. And I just love the fit as well. 70s vibes. Oh my God, love this piece. And so today, for your inspiration again, I'm styling it with this tie neck top that I got from Zara several hours ago. We'll get to the top in a second, but the combined richness of this color and the texture of this skirt makes it such a gorgeous autumn fall piece and a piece that exudes such luxury as well. And this is a top a hundred percent polyester guys this is definitely something i would never ever 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 repurchase anything polyester would never be repurchased by me so i paired it with this because i am not going to be throwing out the pieces that i've already bought and for your inspiration guys this is how i style it I love the three buckle details on that top and it pairs beautifully with this but at the same time it's not an environmentally sustainable fabric and you it's it's yeah it's definitely not just like this Zara top as you guys know fabrication is everything and we are looking for fabric fit and style yeah that's how I style it the next piece oh my god guys I love this I am so in love with this this is a skirt by Ralph Lauren again this piece it's probably either it was thrifted or it was given to me okay my hair is falling down so I guess it doesn't want to stay up I think it was either given to me or thrifted. I am not sure, but look, guys, look. And again, going forward, the FFS factor is key in my clothing items. And the amazing thing about this piece is that it doesn't have any lining, which is really, really good. Initially, when I looked at it, uh, I was very, very unhappy, but I realized that from an environmental, sustainable, biodegradable <laughs> point of view, it is definitely on the right track. This look is currently available on my Instagram feed, and you guys feel free to check it out. I really loved wearing it. I don't just show you these styling tips. These are styling tips that I've actually put into effect, actually worn on a weekly basis. It's 100% leather suede and today I'm pairing it with my Gucci belt and this top from Forever 21. So this particular look I wore on a casual Friday, but you can wear it depending on your working environment. If you're working in a semi-casual or not so professional environment, you can wear it every day. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is a look that I just put together one Saturday evening 
and I was gonna run outside to meet up with some girlfriends just for a quick lunch so I am not one to tell you where to wear your stuff um, feel free to wear it whenever if you feel like looking fabulous just do so <laughs> this is one of the tops that I just absolutely love from forever 21 it's a hundred percent nylon so I would definitely put it, more information on nylon across the screen to let you know how sustainable it is but definitely guys love these three skirts to above and beyond because they have been with me year after year and I am not at all fed up of wearing them because I often find new and creative and innovative ways to style these skirts because they are very neutral pieces and that is why you could get away with wearing them for decades to come. So I definitely hope you love this and you find some inspiration and you enjoy these looks. Thank you guys so much for watching and as I always say remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and gorgeous. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.